Hi everybody, this is Krista and welcome to my YouTube channel, Inky Fairy Designs. I'm going to share a little bit of a haul with you today, kind of my, uh, you know, quarantine haul, if you will. Um, I placed an order with uh, scrapbook.com and also Prima Art Philosophy. So I'm going to show you what I got. First, I got um, every pretty much I think all the time you can pick up a freebie of the scrapbook and cards today it will be the current issue so if you make multiple orders um, you know just put the one one time in your uh, cart until the next issue comes out and you make another order but I love these um, one of these days maybe I'll submit to them <laughs> and see if I can get published in it that would be pretty cool but it's fun for inspiration <clears throat> uh, I got a lot of Prima stuff today, so let me show you the non-Prima stuff first. This is the Dina Wakely Media uh, Layering Stencil. This is the Shape Mashup. Um, I've been watching a lot of the daily demos with Dina. You can always go catch the replays on her blog. And um, she's used this quite a bit. And I just knew I needed to add it to my plethora of stencils, so I picked that up. Also running low on some foam tape, so I got the scrapbook.com premium foam adhesive. I have not used it before, um, but they were on sale, so I figured I might as well go ahead and get one. This is the quarter inch one. Um, I'm thinking I'll go ahead, if I like it, get the larger sizes, because they're pretty, compared to the cost of this one, which is my favorite, um, it's so much more affordable. All right, so let's hop into the Prima. I'll show you the watercolors I got first. I have been wanting this set forever. It is the Vintage Pastels. You get 12 colors in it. And um, I will do a swatching video of these. Uh, but they're just so beautiful. I love the colors. Um, my other favorite uh, set is the, uh, it's another pastel, and I cannot think of the name off the top of my head, but the other pastel set is my favorite, and so I thought this one would be a great addition to my watercolors. Then I got this uh, Prima pad, it's the 6x6 six six paintables. Um, so it's a watercolor paint um, paper, and then you've got the resist, and you have some great patterns in here. I love that text. I love the big numbers and letters. Um, so there are six designs and six sheets. So you only get six, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Maybe you get 12, two of each. Oh yeah, 12 sheets each, 12 sheets all together. So you get two of each design, which is cool. Um, so that'll be really fun. Then I love my little traveler's notebook uh, that I do a lot of like quick sketches in and journaling and stuff. And so I thought I would get these and put them in there. Hopefully they will fit. This is a mixed media notebook and it's um, it looks like it might be a longer. No, I think it will just fit in there. So I thought it would be fun to do a little bit of mixed media in here. Um, so that'll be cool. And then this is just regular paper. Um, I think it's blank papers, but I loved that cover. So that's why I got it. Then I absolutely fell in love with this Moon Child collection. So I got the A4 size card um, paper pad. It's the only paper pad they had um, of this collection left. But aren't those papers and colors just delicious? Really, really love it. So that will be fun to make some quick cards with. And then, of course, I had to get some of the mashing flowers. So these are from the same Moonchild collection. And I just picked up one of each flower set that they had to match. 
and make some pretty cards with. So I love the purples and pinks and the little pops of teal in this collection. And then I also got the metal pieces. So I thought those would be fun. Maybe to add a little bit of embellishment to cards or do some canvases with those. Next, <clears throat> I saw this stamp set, which was awesome. This is from Finnebear. It's called Don't Forget to Fly. I already used some of the stamps in it, but I love this one and I love the butterflies. Um, so I can't wait to make some more projects using this stamp set. Then I also picked up some of her impasto paints. I fell in love with the mint color. And then while I was looking, I went ahead and picked up the Victorian green and the Mediterranean. And um, I haven't used these very much, but I really, when I have used them, um, I like them. They're very thick and creamy, which is really nice. And I do think they dry into a matte finish. And then I couldn't resist this unicorn effect paste. It's just a glitter paste, I believe. Um, but I'm a sucker for all things unicorn. And so I just had to have it. So that is my scrapbook.com haul. Let's set that aside. And then I'm going to pull out my art alchemy. Or no, my um, art philosophy haul. So they had a great sale on their watercolors. So I went ahead and completed my two watercolor two collection with them. I already had five of them. So I went ahead and picked up the 13 others that I didn't have. Because I really find them lovely and a lot of fun to paint with. So I got ivory black, permanent yellow orange, cobalt blue hue, greenish yellow, rose matter, crimson, burnt umber, permanent red, indigo, ultramarine deep, permanent yellow deep, viridian hue, and lemon yellow. And then while I was there, <laughs> I went ahead and picked up this fun pan set. This is the watercolor confetti set and it has 24 colors in it. So I think it's a really nice um, travel set. Um, so you can see you get a travel water brush and then all of your beautiful pans. And then this is um, to change your colors. So when you're changing colors, just wipe it on there and then you can go into your next color. So these are the colors that come in this set. So I'll definitely do a little watercoloring video where I swatch this, uh, I pan these, and then I will um, also swatch the pastels that I got. And since I've been doing some sketching, I figured I would try the water soluble graphite sticks from Prima. I have not used these before, <clears throat> but I thought it would be fun to use in my sketching, my 100 days project that I need to get back into. I've taken a few days off because I've been so busy, but um, these look so good. I mean, look how chunky these are. I cannot wait to play with those and do some fun sketches. So that's my haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I've got. Um, let me know what your favorite is that I picked up, what you wanna see first. I'd love to know that. I'm trying to work on some videos for you guys other than um, my design team stuff. I know I've been pretty overworked with that and that's pretty much all that I've been putting out but I really want to get back to doing stuff just for me and just for you guys just for fun stuff 
So we'd love to know what you are looking for, what you want to see, uh, watercolor, mixed media, cards, um, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.